Alright guys, so if you're looking to do a DJI build uh, on a 3 inch, this is the frame that I recommend and I'll talk about how I put this together. The DJI builds are generally easier than analog builds because the, the air unit pretty much is your video transmitter and camera and it's like one unit so it's pretty easy to assemble. And this frame here, the this is the Whirly Gig frame from Newbie Drone. I did a video previously on the frame review itself so I'm not going to cover the frame details in this video. But this frame has, is basically designed for the air unit, as you see these parts here house the air unit and it's in the center here. This is why I recommend this frame now over the DC-3. The DC-3 puts the air unit in the back so it's got some CG issues and you have to be really careful in where you place the battery. This one here is, is actually pretty, pretty balanced. You can see uh, if you put the battery strap here like right in the middle and you lift it up. It doesn't really lean one way or another, forward or backwards, you can see like that. So that's, you know, as you put the battery right there in the center, it's going to be nice and balanced and it's going to have any sort of issues where it's going to be pulling to the front or the back. So uh, the electronics I used on here are all flywheel parts. Uh, we have some 1404 motors here. These are the uh, 4850 KV, so this is going to be a, a pretty, uh, pretty good accurate setup here, high KV. It's going to be a shorter flight times, but it's going to have a lot of power. You'll see that in the flight footage. And in the back here, I'm using the Flywoo F7 stack. So it's got a really beast, beefy uh, 40 amp 32 um, bit uh, 401 ESC, 20 by 20. And this is the Goku F7 flight controller. So this stack I, I did review on as well. I'll link that video down in the description as well. Um, if you don't want to do the soldering here, so obviously here you have to solder the wires to the flight controller and I'll put a picture up here of what that looks like a little close up. Uh, I did a video on how to wire up a DJI air unit to a flight controller. I'll link that video down in the description as well. This is it's pretty basic. There's only six wires you have to actually uh, solder up to the flight controller and you just follow those, those instructions and I just used uh, um, UART1 for the S-Bus and UART2 for the MSP connection for the air unit. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to get an easy, even, even easier build where you don't have to uh, solder the air unit cable to the flight controller, Newbie Drone does make a flight stack with a flight controller with a plug that goes directly from the flight controller to the air unit. You don't have to actually do any soldering at all. I'll link that as well down in the description. I actually haven't tried that one, but I heard it's pretty good. The I think the EC is a little bit less. I think it's like 30 or 35 amps, but for 3 inch that's totally fine. Uh, 40 amps is probably overkill for this particular build. And for the ESCs, basically I soldered the uh, XD30, the um, capacitor here in the back, and of course the motor wires here. So everything is cut to length and directly soldered to the foreign ESC. And actually I'll just put a foot up here on what that looks like. So the build's pretty simple. You just uh, uh, mount the foreign ESC, uh, mount all the motors, cut all the wires to the correct length, solder all the wires to the uh, foreign ESC. There's a cable that goes from the, the ESC to the flight controller. You just plug that into the ESC and then to the flight controller. And then you just have to solder on the air unit wires. Plug that into the air unit. You want to plug in the antennas into the back there. Kind of hard to see. A little bit worried that those might pop out well to see. Um, I haven't really crashed it yet, so... Uh, but the antennas seem to be okay. And then the trickiest thing about this build is this frame and getting the top plate and these two side plates here for the camera to uh, correctly mount. It's a, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. It's a little bit tricky, a little bit fiddly because you have to be able to um, mount the air unit inside these metal aluminum pieces and that makes it a little bit trickier. So what I think what I did here is I screwed the uh, top screw here to these front standoffs and unscrewed the ones on the bottom and then I slid the air unit into the back here and then I lowered the uh, front end of the top plate in and, and uh, put the uh, two side plates into these grooves here and that once uh, I kind of fiddle around with that once that kind of locked into place then I was able to screw in these two screws on the bottom and that was the thing that was kind of tricky, you had to kind of fiddle around with all a bit because it's a very tight fit. I mean, nothing moves. It's a, it's very solid. So uh, that is probably the most difficult part of the build. 
Uh, the rest of the soldering everything is actually pretty easy. Alright, so here's the uh, complete build weight, no battery, and we're coming at 178 grams. So yeah, it, uh, I'll just see how much uh, this weighs with a, I think I'm going to fly it with a 654S. Um, I don't have the battery here on the bench here, so I'll just put that up on the screen, what that is, together with the uh, 654S. Anyway, that's it for the uh, build overview. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the flight footage. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. The wind's pushing me around a little bit here, but I'll try flying this more open area. A bit harder to hear the props. This thing's fast. Probably should fly in a little bit bigger area. Yeah, it's getting pushed around by the wind still. It's not too bad though. So far, so good. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, it's flying well. It's just that there's a lot of tr small trees and stuff here I don't want to crash. A little bit of a shutter there. Just a tiny bit of prop wash. Fourteen oh four motors have plenty of power. I think it could use a little bit. I think that some of that prop wash is from the wind as well, but. a little bit of tweaking. It's very responsive. It's point and shoot really. Just goes where I want it to. Very steady. I gotta let off the throttle a little bit there when I Try that split S. Yeah, very, very solid in the turns. Okay, 14.4 volts, about four minutes, so just about at the end of the flight here. Pretty good so flight time, 6.50 for us.
Yeah, let's bring it on in.